stuck in that mess for 45 minutes and that usually takes you about two minutes to get from that traffic light to that traffic light and I've been sitting there for right at 32 minutes 32 minutes exactly 32 minutes for me to get through that stupid all them people just stopping and looking at it yeah what's going on guys welcome back to the channel another beautiful glorious day outside if you guys don't know who I am my name is Don I run Don's tech build RC cars and custom computers speaking of computers I just bought actually I won a bid on some really awesome hardware because we're rebuilding my computer that's for an upcoming video anyway we're on our way to work this video jumps around a little bit guys um, basically it's just a bunch of unboxings of things that I've been receiving in the mail over the last week one of those which is a really cool battery tray and I've been really excited about it. So hopefully you guys like this video. Consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers and I need you to help me out. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. You know, stick together, right? Help a fellow, 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 help a fellow person out. But I am about to roll into work. So... With that, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. I never get comments. I guess my videos suck. That's why I don't get a comment. At least let me get a comment saying, hey, your video sucks. Because then I, at least I'd get a comment, right? Go ahead and play. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank you. And there were some packages waiting for me. This is our front CVD shafts the ones that we bent now we got the replacements and I haven't opened this yet I'm not sure what's in this yet let's see here what is this oh this is our hot racing aluminum battery tray which I know it's kind of hard to see but it's an aluminum battery tray that's nice and it has like these little ends to it and it's completely velcroed up, apparently and it's the next day voila look what arrived oh there we go So now we can put these on and then my other nitrous bottle came but I decided to change the whole look. This nitrous bottle looks way better. See it comes with a hose, it, the thing on top is blue. It just looks a little bit different um, and I bought two of these for a matching set. But these is what I'm really curious because I'm not sure if you look at the stock ones they're, they're a little different. I mean, maybe a washer or something like that could, could make up the difference for it. But, see the lip? No lip. So, I'm not sure if that's going to make a huge difference. Theoretically, the line just lines up with it and then it sits there and it doesn't go anywhere. I think that's just to keep it from maybe wallowing. I don't know. I'm going to find out. Alright. So I am fixing to do a full teardown and rebuild on the back. See, I got the motor taken out, cleaned out, oiled, and it's ready to go. It's been cleaned and uh, spray the bearings out with an air compressor. And then when you do that, you hit it with some electric cleaner. After you do that, then you hit it with the air compressor again and then you put a little three-in-one electrical motor oil in it spin it a couple of times and then you're good to go alright so on the back here right here there's like a drive cup this thing 
this was loose as can be holy Jesus it was super loose it was just a spin I bet that was part of my problem also um, we are taking out the one way this thing this is the one way or locker whatever you want to call it um, we're going to put back the center diff and then we're going to put the locker or the one way in the front and maybe that will change some of the little issues that I'm having front for power transfer uh, having a little bit of a, of a bad grind it's you know if it was a car I'd be like man that does not sound good your transmission does not sound good and I think it may have to do with something like that also uh, because we lost both the left and the right these drive balls came out of the the center here it it tore right into the alarms on each side of the truck here see it just it, it dug them right out if you take the dog bone right take the dog bone see that it fits perfectly inside that hole and man it just it tore the inside up on each side but anyway when it did that it bent these um, look how hard it is to turn that I mean it's pretty stiff so that has to be replaced both of them have to be replaced I already ordered those those are on the way um, so that's what I'm fixing to do now uh, I'm fixing to rebuild that diff and then do all this but there's something else I want to show you guys so I got some new things in the mail awesome things first uh, I found these on sale it was 34 bucks for three of them they're Red Cat brand tires. Uh, I was like, eh, whatever. Well, we can give them a shot. I need some tires that I can chew up. Well, if you want to compare these, it's a lot smaller of a tire. This is the stock Arma tire. And the arm, look how much bigger the Arma tire is to that one. It's just a night and day difference. The, the stock Arma tires are huge compared to this. These are really, even though they're 17 millimeter, um, they're just kinda a little bit smaller. So anyway, moving on. I wanna show you guys some things. These are wheel alignments, all right? This is so cool. What you do is you take these little pucks out and they actually take the place of the tire. And what they do is they give you an exact measurement of how your tire is sitting so it will tell you if your tire is slightly cambered in or slightly cambered out or if it has some toe in it or wherever it sit or if it's sitting straight up and straight down this is going to tell you this was not cheap either this is just kind of expensive also I got another piece of measuring equipment this is from RPM. Oh no, my tires don't fall. Oh no, they're brand new. Okay, this is from RPM. Can you see what this is a shock duplicator? Um, I'm gonna build it and put it together. Basically what you do is once you built it, um, one side of it ha is like a ruler. Let's see here. Uh, there's measurements on one of these, like, uh, like there, there it is. See the measurements on there? Anyway, what you do is you put your shock on there and then you squeeze your shock and then it tells you a number. Then what you do is you take the other side, so you take the left, let's say we're working on the fronts, you take the left front shock, put it on there, it reads a 40. You take your other front shock, but the right one and put it on the other side and give it a squeeze and let's say it's reading like a 70. You, you would be like, whoa, those are two different readings. I need to get them equal so that way they're working properly and working about the same because you really want your shocks to be working correctly. You don't want one shock that's you know real squishy and another one that's real firm on the same side. That's going to kind of give you a weird feeling. So this is going to be a great tool. I'm actually going to open it and show it to you guys. And then check it out. Look, all of our nitrous bottles came in the mail. So now we have multiple nitrous bottles. Here's the other one that just came today. 
Awesome. Oh man, I ripped my glove. Damn. Yeah. Another nitrous bottle. Cool. I got four of them now. Oh, this is a must. You must have one of these. This is, what is that? A card? Get off there. This is a must. It's a hot racing. It's a plug and connector soldering jig. I want to open this real quick. Let, let's check that out. Oh, this is a computer thing. This is an RGB PCI Express adapter. Comes with the PCI Express riser cable. And then this whole thing right here is RGB. And your graphics card plugs into it like this and sits upright. Because that's how all my graphics cards are. But anyway, I'm thinking about remodeling my computer, rebuilding it. Uh, that, that's for a different video. These are gauge measurers. So you put the wire in there and that tells you the gauge of it. And then this side is where you put your connector. So you put your connector in right there. Or if it's a Dean's plug or something like that, you would put it there. And then you screw this bar down and it squishes the plug and it allows you to solder the wires directly to it. So it holds it for it. And then you have a five millimeter hole and then a 3.2 millimeter hole. And then same with these, you can put the wire in there and clamp it down and it will hold it in place. And I like it because it comes with this little like foam thing. That's pretty nifty, right? I also have another thing like this similar that's coming. Um, but there's more stuff to come and I'm going to show that to you guys as well.